Welcome to the Nerdy Namacon for yet another episode of Tag It Tuesday. Last week was a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and we've got a new tag this week. You mm -hmm. ready to get started with this right after the theme song? Yeah! Let's do this. Okay, so this week we have a new tag for you guys. What did we decide to rename this? Uh, five star reviews of sucky movies. Or at least movies that we hate. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. These movies suck. They're, they're really bad. Uh, really quick before we start, we're not saying if you like these movies, you're bad. We're no. We're not saying you're not allowed to like these movies. I know people mm -hmm. get super offended over everything. You're allowed to like these movies. These are just yep. our opinions. And guess what? You don't have to listen to us. We're just mm -mm. two people on the internet. Despite what you think, people on the internet don't know more than you. Unless they do, which we don't. I might. You don't. I um, don't. So if you're going to like whine about the fact that we were mean to your movie and not do it in a cool way, like switch off now. That being said, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to hate these movies. Yeah, they're, they're bad movies, but... <laughs> there just, might be one point of contention. I wanted to put maybe. that disclaimer out there because I've seen people trashed over, like, having an opinion. Right, right. But uh, I think we need to get into these movies. Let's cue up some music here. All right, the first movie that we... Yeah, yeah, that happened. The first movie that we want to talk about, a movie that's... I loved the original two. You loved the original two. Mm -hmm, and did. the sequel made it retroactively worse. I hate the, the original now because I hate the sequel so much. Yep. The so if, you, if you're watching this, the people who made this movie, like, stop. Just yeah, stop. Yeah, you know number three is happening to us. Just stop. Whether we wanted to or not. You suck. The House is October Built Part 2. It's so bad. Don't ever watch this movie. Just pretend one day I'll die and you're done. Yeah. This is the This is the plot, and now you don't have to watch it. Recovering from the trauma of being kidnapped last Halloween by the Blue Skeletons, five friends head back to visit their more to visit more haunted house attractions. But when signs of blue skeletons start appearing again, a new terror begins. It's so stupid. It's like, have you ever seen the movie Wild Things where there's a twist and then there's another twist and then there's another twist and then wait for it, there's another twist. Look up happy with this. There's like, it got to the point where it was Clue. <laughs> they just kept making more twists. You're just like. You're talking like enough false endings to be just like. End the movie. Return oh, of the King. It was so bad. I, I hated it. Not everybody agrees with you. People are stupid. This one is a five star review called Good Stuff. This one you can find on Amazon. Full movie works now. That's true. You know what? I agree with that. Full movie works now. I agree the, with they're that. They're not that, wrong. That's not wrong. They're not wrong. That's 100%. Full movie works now. Yep, you changed my mind on the movie. That is also a 100% real review of this movie. Robbie will put them up, but he'll it. Yep. Uh, the first one is better. This is worth a watch. That's the title of this one. Mm -hmm. Very scary, almost too scary. That's not true at all. Here's one. Oh. This one's called Five Stars. Ooh. They gave it five stars. Wouldn't it be funny if it was like three stars? Everything went well. To who? It didn't go well for the characters. It didn't go well for us watching it. I guess it did go well for the uh, the, the eating champ who ate all those brains. That's true. So No, it didn't. You are a liar. That is a very Person. ironic review. So this one might give us a bit of contention, but I maintain my stance. I thought this movie was fun the first time I watched it. I hated it. Subsequent viewings have made me actually <laughs> angry at this movie. I hated this movie from the beginning. Suicide Squad. It's so bad. Like, it's so bad. And it gets so... I mean, I know everyone kind of agrees with that, but the people who like it really like it. And it's so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. Basically, a bunch of DC villains team up to fight something much bigger than any of them actually should be able to fight. Basically, someone at DC saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, basically. And we think it's bad, but not everybody agrees with us. Those people are dumb. This is a five-star review okay. called Extended Cut is Better If You Like a Longer Version of a Movie. Well, that's true. An extended cut is better if you like a longer movie. Yes. That's 100% true. Like, Gone with the Wind cut is like three hours. Gone with the Wind uncut is four hours. So, right. I mean, that's not a lie. Now, also, I would like to keep this in mind for this for all of the subsequent reviews, both positive and negative. When I start shouting, that means this review is written in capitals. Suicide Squad extended cut is better if you enjoy a longer version of a movie. Okay, read it. <laughs> Read it and that was it. read it at a normal volume. <laughs> Suicide Squad extended cut is better if you enjoy a longer version of a movie. I'm buying my movies from Amazon Video. Awesome picture and sound. Prime member five stars. I agree. Prime membership is worth five stars. Yeah, I agree I, with that. That's if, a true If only fact. for Jack Ryan and the Tick alone. I five meant, stars. To I Amazon meant more Prime. for like you can get two day shipping for free, which is is. A, that's something else that. That's occurs. amazing. 
Uh, this five star review, fun movie. Okay. Can't wait for sequel. Okay. Same cast. No, okay. But more. Okay. Joker and Harley Quinn. Okay, I need to talk to some people before we keep going. Deadshot with daughter. Continue. Fun movie. The Joker and Harley Quinn are abusive. Stop. Just, I'm saying this as somebody who has written a book literally called The Serial Killer's Guide to Romance. Harley Quinn and the Joker are abusive. Stop romanticizing them. Also, Jared Leto is a douchebag. But seriously, yeah. it is abusive. Stop. Like, legitimately, I know that like adults can say that, but there are probably 15 year old girls who think this is super romantic. It's not. A guy who loves you doesn't throw you into a vat of acid. The next one, Sucker Punch. The Zack Snyder opus. Can I see who this is? Who is this movie for? I don't know. The girls are literal prostitutes who mm -hmm. have up, sh up skirt shots and boob shots. So it's definitely not for women. They can say all they want. Oh, it's feminist. No, it's not. I'm in. And the men are all made to look like rapists. Like yeah, literally every single male not character in. with the exception of two rape people. And the two that don't, one lobotomizes people and one is a bus driver. The Sucker Punch is an epic fa action fantasy that takes us into the vivid imagination, all one word, mm -hmm. of a young girl whose dream world provides an ultimate escape from her darker reality. Why are these all one word? No, that none of these that are... is true. It is a movie within a movie within a movie. It's like, and it all takes place in the span of like two minutes. It's basically Liberty. it's Saint Elsewhere. For those of you who are young and don't know what that means, the end of Saint Elsewhere is an autistic kid was just having a dream the entire time. Mm -hmm. That's it. The entire series was just a, a dream in an autistic kid's head. Yep. That's what Sucker Punch is. Not everybody agrees with us. Clearly. This five-star review is called Iconic. You might watch this and think, it isn't all that, but you won't get it out of your head. When you finally do, you'll watch it again. No. Every time you watch it, it gets better. That sounds like Stockholm Syndrome. You'll be humming the tunes all day tomorrow. They <laughs> score some great songs parentheses, and some epic punk school girl kung fu. So there's an episode of uh, Parks and Recreation where Andy Dwyer is talking about The Expendables. And he said, the first time I watched it, I didn't like it. The third time I watched it, I didn't like it. The fifth time I didn't like I watched it, I didn't like it. The hundredth time I watched it, I kind of liked it. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. And actually, The Expendables is awesome. I um, have only seen this movie once, and I have no desire to ever see it again. So that is a false narrative. This person would disagree with you. Okay. A sucker punch to the brain, this five-star review is I called. agree with that. It is a sucker punch to the brain. You know, everyone gives Zack Snyder such heat for the work that he does, and I never could understand why. After having watched this movie, I think this might be the disconnect for him and the movie audience. Yep. He's too meta for general audiences. No, he's not. Community was a huge hit. People can handle meta. The last movie we need to talk about, this is a Christmas opus that should be on everyone's lists for Christmas movies. No. I'm talking, of course, about the, what is it, 2014 classic, Kurt Cameron's Saving Christmas. Kurt Cameron provides a biblical basis for our favorite time-honored traditions and celebrations, and the inspiration to stand strongly against a culture that wants to trivialize el and eliminate the faith elements of this holy season. Oh, wow. Um, there's a part in this movie, mm. in the beginning, where Kurt Cameron is talking to the camera, and he says, what are they gonna do next? They're gonna, they're gonna try to say that the hot chocolate was invented by Native Americans, and it's like, it, it was. It was invented by the Aztecs. It was. Literally, cocoa beans Literally the come Aztecs. from the Amazon. Uh, no one in England had cocoa beans. Like, no white person invented hot cocoa. There is a line in this movie where Kirk Cameron says, when you see the present stacked up around the tree, I want you to think of the New Jerusalem as a guy slow motion penguin slides into presence. Greed is good. That happens. So I guess that the evangelical line on Christmas is greed is good. Not everyone agrees with us. This five-star review is called Most Powerful Yes, Yes, Yes. Oh yes, I bought this for my eye doctor. What? I'm not joking. I just went to get my eyes done today and I did not buy this movie for my... I bought this for my eye doctor who seemed less interested in Christmas and all of decorations being out of line. Okay, you know what that eye doctor did? He's like, hey, you know that uh, vine? That's an avocado. Yeah. That's what that was. It's Kirk Cameron. Thanks. They were just, they were just being polite. They're, like, they're being nice. They're being nice. 
This movie, this review is called Five Stars. Let's see what this person says. Love the movie. Message is great. Watch it every treat. Loved the hip hop ending. The 14 and a half minute impromptu. That woman is the type, the person who wrote that is the same type of person who gets does very angry Twitter rants. Misspelled when Starbucks uh, only has a red cup for Christmas. Trump? I don't think it's a man. I think it's a woman. This five star review is Let called- Let me read one. Let me oh. read one. Ready? Do it. Great. It answers a lot, one word, of the most popular questions many have had about Christmas in a quick and easy, yet very detailed way based on historical records. No, no punctuation in that sentence. Um, five stars. So, in a very, in a quick and easy yet very detailed based on historical records. Um, I just, I don't know what to say. Like, wow. Ah, uh, someone wrote that. That is a, that, that is a review by all definitions. That person has an opinion. every metric you can measure. That person has an opinion and we're all allowed to have opinions yep. according to the, the world, um, <laughs> who's to say who's right and who's wrong? Us, we're right and they're wrong, but who's to say? It's us, who's, so, but who's to say? We may not be right. Let us know down there in the comments and if you like these and movies. And before you people get angry, we can't just dish it out, we can also take it. So next week, we're gonna be doing five-star movies that are awesome, that got bad reviews. We're gonna read our favorite movies and we're yep. gonna read one-star reviews of our favorite movies because it's good to stay humble, it's good to remember yep. Good to remember it's that. good to have people kick us in the galleons. Well, I have the galleons. I don't. I'm a lady. I had a baby, so. We are doing dogma, right? We are. We're doing Child of the Dead. We're doing dogma. <sighs> and you know what, guys? I, like I said, this is going to hurt I'm us. Not, we're not judging <clears throat> anyone. We all have those movies that we give five stars to that we know are trash. For me, it's um, the 1986 Babes in Wonderland starring Keanu Reeves. He wears pantaloons. Night of the Demons for me. It's so magnificent. If you have a chance, look up 1986. You know what? It's I'll, so great. I'll give it to you guys right now. I love Blair Witch 2 Book of Shadows. It's I so love bad. that it's movie. So I also- uh, I know it is, but I love it. I really like a really super problematic movie called What Women Want, starring Mel Gibson. It's terrible. It's misogynistic. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. It is. But when it's on, I have to watch it. I just, I'm compelled by the screen. So, so we, we may understand. hate these movies. But we don't judge you for like, except for Saving Christmas. I, I do judge you. Yeah, yeah. There's very this few is our movies, judgmental face. There's very few movies I judge people for liking. That's one of that's, them. That's that's one of them. And then like not ironically, because if you love it ironically, like you do you. But like that one. I, I watched you. it ironically, more <laughs> like as an uh, sociological study. Mm -hmm. And I also you know what, I also study. judge people who like Suicide Squad. Like I don't mean to, but like have you just not seen Dark Knight? Like I know everyone. Yeah. You know I know it's now cool to dislike Heath Ledger. Like I know like contrarianism, it's cool to just like Heath Ledger, but- It is. Because everyone knows he's better. So if you say that you like he, um, Jared Little better, then you're edgy. I get that. It's super important to be edgy on social media, but mm. it's bad. You are, yes. you suck if you like that movie. Not really, you're great. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Kisses. So that's going to take us out of it for this week. Yay. If you like what we're doing and you're not too pissed off at us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell right next to it so that you know when a new episode of any of the shows, frankly, on this channel pop up. And don't make uh, make sure you give us a like. Yes, give us a like. Yeah. Don't not give us yeah, a like. Don't not give us a like. Give us a like and a comment down below. Let us know what some of your favorite bad movies are yep. and you know maybe we'll incorporate them next time and if you have any tags that you want us to do or you have any ideas mm -hmm. like tell us and maybe we'll do them i can't yep. promise anything because we got yeah. a pretty long list yeah but you know if we, we might we'll give you credit mm -hmm. um if you do your own tags like t like let us know yeah what is what is it that you do i don't understand how youtube works like do you like put the blink in the yeah, you put the put link, the link, the link the, in the doobly doo in, in the, the description. Bob. Yep, and uh, we'll watch it and we'll comment and maybe we'll do that tag and maybe you can do some of our tags. We're making film tube a thing here. Play content and miscast entertainment and crap. My dad makes me watch. We're making film tube a thing. Join in. So, so until next like week, no, it does. That's, that's it, it really does. Bad. Join the film tube cabal.
put a lot of work into my eye makeup. That was the <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving now. Goodbye. See you next week, guys. Bye.